Hello, we're back in Pleasant View and we can see on the map that some things are changing finally. There's no leaves on the trees anymore. So it's moving on to winter, even though we still don't have any snow, but I'm sure that that's coming very soon. So in this episode, we're going to continue on with the sort of businesses that I want to start with to get things moving. And um, what I do is start with the hospital in order to get the sicknesses in, see who gets hospitalized, if any, so I can plan from that. And the second thing is that I play with the daycare center so that I can summon in the toddlers and free up the families to go to work and then summon them in again in the afternoon. So that's what we're going to do today. But uh, we're not going to play with uh, Merlina and her family. We're actually going to play with Randy and Tosha Lillard. And they live over here. So let's jump into the household. Here we have the family house. And I just set it to the first day of winter. So that we can start there. They still have uh, quite a mess in their backyard. <laughs> a lot of leaves to take care of. But... I'm pretty sure that I hired a gardener last time, so I think that they will rock up today. So we'll have to see. But besides that, I also realized that this family owe a little bit of money. Taking a look at my spreadsheet, the first thing here is the clubs. So Aiden is in the soccer club, but she has not paid the 500 simoleon fee for it yet. Also, since uh, Tosha just gave birth to a baby, she went to the hospital last time for a checkup. So she also owes 100 simoleons to the hospital. And uh, well, the problem for them right now is that they don't really have <laughs> any funds. So I can't do that. So I hope that we are going to be able to earn some money today for them. Um, yeah. Let's see what happens. So going into the house here. We have Randy and Tosha lying sleeping together in their bed. And we have their new little baby girl, Mickey. Sleeping in her little cot in the same room for now. We have uh, Aiden sleeping in her bed, in her room. And Tomoe just waking up as well. So Aiden aged up to a child very recently and Tom is actually going to age into a child today. He has yet to learn how to talk though. So that's something that uh, I'm going to have to figure out sometime today as well. And uh, Tosha just had a baby and she has some days off, 12 actually, quite a lot. So I'm not going to send her to work today. She can be home with the baby. But I think that she has her hands full with little Mickey. So I am going to send Tomoe to the daycare center so we also can play with it. And Rand is going to go to his business. Looks like he wants to have more best friends. And um, he wants to be best friends with his employee, Sandy. So I think that makes sense. I can lock that in for him. Looks like he's pretty hungry, she as well, and yeah, Aiden too. So I think that Randy should probably get up, first thing he does, and uh, cook some breakfast. This little guy can manage himself okay, so I'm going to just send him to the potty first thing. And then we also, of course, have the cats downstairs. So we have some little kittens that were born finally. And um, I do want to uh, sell one of them, so I'm gonna take care of that as well today, but that's for later. So Randy's awake and apparently Tosha also woke up at the same time, so I think that she can nurse Mickey while he cooks breakfast. Let's just make some pancakes. I think that Aiden is sleeping in. Yeah. And apparently she didn't do her homework yesterday. I think that she hasn't been taught either. No, so that is also left to do. So I suppose um, I'm going to have to think about that in the evening as well. 
Okay, great. So Toma is just playing for now. Great, so I'm waking her up so she can so she can have her breakfast. And I think Tosha's gonna take a while to nurse the baby. That's usually the case. Oh, I think she actually finished just because I said so. <laughs> so just give her a cuddle. Maybe make the bed. And then she also can come down to eat. Oh, I need to cancel that. And I think she maybe. Yeah, she just dressed in her every day, so that's good. But now you're gonna be home, Tosha. No need to worry about work. It looks like they're very busy talking about food, so maybe Randy, who is pretty food um, obsessed <laughs> after all, is taking this opportunity to share with Aiden how to cook pancakes or something. I think it would be very cute you know, if it would be possible for parents to show the kids how to cook <laughs> in some way. I think maybe that would be a difficult uh, mod to create, but it would be really, really cute. <laughs> Uh, yeah, she feels good. So she doesn't really need much, but um, I saw that they, one of the pet bowls were empty. That was something I realized last time that the slower speed combined with uh, many cats <laughs> equals empty pet bowls. <laughs> so great. Um, we can put that away and clean some stuff up. Nice. So I did have two kittens and uh, it is one male and one female. And I do believe that I decided to keep the female. Yeah, so it's my that I'm going to keep and then Jun is the one that I'm going to sell. So it's this little guy. So I think if um, Erin should bond with uh, any of them. <laughs> It should be my, but uh, apparently she's already <laughs> bonded a bit with June, so oh well. Can um, focus in on my here anyway. Okay, so Toshi is pretty much done. Yeah, I'm just gonna let Tosha do what she wants for now. And Randy needs to leave as soon as possible. Right, uh, so I'm gonna have Randy go to his community lot. And of course the idea is that he's bringing Tomwe with him as well. To drop him off on the way. Right, so I'm gonna save and exit here and uh, I'll meet you up at the daycare center. So Marilina is pulling up here to work. Oh, apparently she <laughs> she arrived dressed in this, but uh, I actually don't want her to wear that. I want her to stay in her everyday outfit. There we go. Because I've started to use a um, work outfit stoppinator for this career. And well, let's have you walk into work. And I'm going to have to summon people in. So let's just take a look at the um, spreadsheet and go to education. So we have um, some toddlers to summon in, but not all of them. Three of the toddlers are actually going to stay home with their families today. Christy is going to keep Micah home because she has her new baby as well. And yeah, she would multitask and keep both home, I think. <laughs> And uh, Johnson has the day off, so he's going to keep Aramis home. And uh, similarly, Alvin also has the day off. I actually think it's very few in the science careers who work Thursdays. They're, they work weekends instead, as it turns out. So, um, yeah, they're going to keep their toddlers home, but the others I'm going to summon in. And of course, also Meadow needs to be summoned in. So maybe let's start with her. There we go. And uh, I'm going to try something out. 
it is possible that maybe I don't have to make her um, part of the family because I have a mod that will allow her to treat anyone I select as family. So maybe that will allow her to interact properly with the toddlers anyway. Uh, I'm going to try it out and see how it works. But the toddlers need to be moved in. So let's start with Tom with then. There he is. And I'm going to go family, move in Tomwe. BB Bertino needs to be here. Hope Vicious. And Riley Cooper. Technically, Riley's uh, parents don't um, need to send him here. But I am going to have them get married <laughs> this time. And yeah, there's also a lot of things going on with... Um, Ivy and the soccer club and also uh, Jihoon's business. So I just figured that, yeah, might as well have the toddler be at the daycare center. <laughs> Great. So I do have seven toddlers to in total. Three of them are at home and four of them are summoned in. So that looks correct. So let's see here then if I can select Tomwe, treat as family. Yes, it worked. I'm going to do that for all of them for Meadow. So I actually don't have to move her in because that's going to make things complicated with her family as well. And then I can just select remove from family when I'm done. Uh, actually, that made it so that she doesn't have to greet them. Hmm. That's actually interesting. In that case, I can do the same for Marilina. Oh, but she has to greet them. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I'll just remove them from family again then. Because it didn't make any difference for her. So I guess maybe it just makes a difference when they're not part of the family then. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Um, so Marlena's going to have to walk around and high five the toddlers just like normal. So I'm going to do that to start out. And... Yes, these are locked. Good. Then the toddlers won't um, obsessively go to sleep at once. That's good. And yeah, Meadow, I think you can just um, chill out for a bit. You can walk over here. And just because I don't want her to interfere with the, <laughs> the greeting process. Good. No, little hope is not feeling good. No. <laughs> did you actually greet Phoebe? Yeah, you did good. Okay, so Meadow picked up Phoebe uh, on her own. And that's actually pretty cute because she has been um, getting close with Lucy recently. And of course, um, Phoebe is uh, Lucy's daughter. So this is really sweet, actually, that she autonomously picked her up in particular. So how is Phoebe doing? She's actually feeling really good. So does she need to learn something? She has already learned how to walk. So it would be maybe starting with the talk training then, I guess. So just get to know her a bit better so that you actually can do something. Looks like these little boys sat down to play together. That's sweet. And I do think that uh, she has greeted all of them now. So she can get started instead with hope. Give her some uh, much needed attention. She has learned how to walk, but nothing else. So maybe um, they can have some just talk training in here <laughs> for both of these girls. And I think I'm just going to um, get them started. Maybe get them like halfway up the bar or something so that their families have a head start. <laughs> but um, yeah, I prefer to have the actual families be the ones in the memories, if that makes sense. I don't mind if it happens to be either of these two. Because it just 
might happen, especially with the potty training. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's nice if it's actually the parents. Just gonna keep an eye also on the needs here. I think the kids need to eat soon. I think that these two are actually building friendship from this, right? Oh, they're not. Oh, well, that's a shame. Um, I do want them to, though. Is it possible to? Yeah, I think I'm going to have to use the activity table then because it doesn't seem like they're um, gaining any relationship with the dollhouse. That's unfortunate. Yeah, there we go. Now they they know each other. Yeah, I think I'm gonna interrupt Meadow now and have her bring Phoebe to um, this high chair. And Marilyn, I can do the same for um, Hope. And yes, these two can also eat. So it's gonna bring Riley. Oh, <laughs> he needs to stop playing first. Just send her over there then. So Tommy was done first, apparently. You can actually bring Phoebe to the potty. And then when she's done, she can bring Hope as well. Tommy is already potty trained, so she can just let him out. Yeah, this is running so much smoother with two adult teams. <laughs> Poor Merlin, I had to do it all by herself earlier. <laughs> yeah, and he also needs to go to the potty. I think Merlin can do that. And then they are getting tired, but uh, I think that they can stay up for a little bit more before they actually have their nap time. Uh, Meadow, you can clean this up. I think she can go around and clean the high chairs. Nice. So they have used the potties. And um, then there was actually another mod that I wanted to try out a bit. Um, that I got pretty recently. And... Um, oh, it's getting read to two times here. Um, it is that the, the read to is supposed to be like joinable. Okay, so these girls are over there playing. But maybe if I have them stop that, he can go here, she can go here, and he can also go there. And she can sit down to read to Tomoe. And I think the other toddlers are supposed to be able to join listening to the story. Yeah, listen to story. I'm gonna do that for all of them. <laughs> ah, this is so cute. <laughs> yeah. Just gonna let Meadow do whatever she wants. She can actually sit down to have uh, lunch now that uh, Merlina is <laughs> keeping the toddlers occupied. Just gonna keep an eye on their energy levels. I think Tomo is the most tired, so. Apparently when they listen to the story, it doesn't trigger the um, uh, learn creativity bar. Maybe it's a mod conflict or something. Uh, or maybe it, they are actually getting, gaining the skill level just that the bars aren't showing. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to interrupt this because they are getting really, really tired. So I'm gonna unlock the doors and I'm gonna send the toddlers to bed. They can have their nap. No, Hope, just go to bed. No need to cry. <laughs> yeah, Tomo, <laughs> you're fine. Just go to bed. 
and Marilena can have her lunch as well. I was wondering if maybe I want Meadow to like do some yard work or something because she doesn't really have much to do right now. So I'm gonna let her do that. Oh, she actually can't go out either. I'm gonna have to um, unlock this door. Or maybe actually lock for allow me only and then I can give uh, Meadow a key so that Meadow can go out but the toddlers can't. And I can do the same thing with the uh, back door. And then I think Marilyn I can just take a little break before the toddlers wake up again. It's really nice to see Meadow so happily at work like this because of um, her very messy home life situation. At least she can get some enjoyment from work. Uh, she is cutting this, but uh, I can't really tell any difference. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to have her pay attention to the leaves. Right, so she is done. But yeah, the kids are going to sleep for a while yet. So I think actually that um, Marilena can sit down and work a bit on the computer. Let's go with cleaning, I suppose, because uh, something that I have learned from my mother who actually work with daycare is that uh, there's a lot of, um, you know, paperwork and stuff to do. <laughs> One would think that the people working with children would spend a lot of time with the children. Of course they do, but there's also a lot of uh, administrative work around it, at least in Sweden. So we're going to send her to work on cleaning there. you can um, dispose of this. Oh yeah, the tree is in the way. <laughs> what did you expect? <laughs> then at least the uh, playground is uh, looking okay. The other things I think I can uh, leave. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> I have this here because... Um, this actually started out as a residential lot, and then I changed it into a community lot after I built it. So that's why I still have this, and I think I hid the mailbox also in a, in a tree here. Yep. <laughs> actually, it's poking out a bit awkwardly. What? There's a grave here. Why is that there? <laughs> that's supposed to be at the... Uh, at the graveyard. What? Did I send it to the wrong lot? I'm gonna do that now. Present to you cemetery. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> no, little Coco. That was such a cute dog, actually. Sad she's gone. But yeah, I should be able to uh, probably hide this better. I can get at it, that is. Yep, perfect. Gone. <laughs> out of sight and out of mind, right? Right. Um, but yeah, so Meadow has taken care of stuff. But I think the toddlers are still sleeping. Yeah. So they still have their nap time. And they haven't met each other, all of them either. So I think I'm gonna, after they wake up, set them to play at the um, play table. So that they can actually meet at least. Yeah, that's nice, Meadow. Maybe you can take this moment to use the bathroom. Before the toddlers wake up. Actually, I think I'm gonna cheat their energies to max. So that they get up now. They were almost there anyway, because it's not that long until um, three. And I still want them to have time to get to know one another better. So I'm just going to... Um, oh. um, actually, you can draw. I don't think... Oh, well, now that I think about it, they won't have time to finish any <laughs> drawings anyway. But uh, something that I've done in the past is having them... Um, 
draw on the activity table and then bring the um, drawings home. And I also put some of them up on the wall here actually. This is from past toddlers that attended the daycare center. So Riley actually only needs to get to know uh, Hope. That's the only one. And Hope already knew Phoebe. Yeah, she wants to play peekaboo. It's a bit annoying that I can't queue this interaction up. It's gonna go all the way around. But Meadow was blocking him. <laughs> and it's gonna fail to do it. Okay. Uh, that's annoying. Nice. And they're actually building friendship quite quickly using the activity table, I've noticed, so that's very cute. But I think since I'm gonna have a bit of trouble to um, have time for Tomo to learn to talk, <laughs> I think, in the afternoon, I'm gonna see how far he's come and maybe if Meadow can um, help him. Are you taking a bath? <laughs> Were you bored or something? <laughs> you have a little toddler here who needs help. Uh, oh, she doesn't know him good enough, I think. So let's just um, interact a bit with him then. Oh, she wrote an article and now she's done. Okay, good. It's fairly good timing, actually. Let's see. Snuggle. Good, teach to talk. So let's see here. You have 15 minutes. <laughs> yep, time's up. Gonna have this um, remove from family for all of them. And then also him. Good. And then I can um, make all of them unselectable. And I can delete all of them. Then I'm just going to have Marlena walk around and clean up a little bit more. These blocks. And then she can take out the trash. I'm also going to bump up her energy so that she has a full energy when she returns home and actually goes to work. Oh, she's going out back to do it. Okay. <laughs> okay, great. So I'm going to send Marlena back home. And uh, yeah, we're going to meet up with Randy at his business. So here we have Randy. So starting out with this, um, I have been thinking about this a little bit, the size of this lot. I know that when I built this, I uh, sort of was thinking that it could have place to grow. But I've started to doubt that it actually will grow bigger because this is just going to be literally like selling lunch food and um, preparing for catering. So, I mean, at most, I guess it's going to get one tile bigger at the back or something. Um, so this whole thing is completely <laughs> unnecessary and I could fit in other kinds of lots here instead. So I decided that I'm going to uh, shrink it with the lot adjuster after this. So I am going to remove some stuff here. Now that this one was on an OMSP, so I'm gonna delete that. Oh, I've actually added a pool tile here. Do I need that? Not really. Can't see any ocean from here anyway, so I'm gonna remove that. I'm just gonna check how many tiles this is. Okay, so this is 10, so I should be able to shrink the lot with 10 at the back here with no issues. Yeah. In that case, I can actually keep these, these bushes if I want. Yeah, let's do that for now. Good, so that's prepared. So yeah, let's start by opening the business. Um, last time I had some lunch stuff here for sale that was going well, but I think he ended up using up most of the things he had. He has some things here. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Come back here. Let's put snack snapping back on. So he has two salads. 
and one risotto, and then two um, smoked salmon party platter. Okay. And oh, okay, also two soups. So I think that it should be fine to just call in the employee and uh, open the business. And then he can start by making one more uh, risotto. There, lobster risotto. Good. Yeah, and sand is still fairly paid. Perfect. Right, and she has a silver cashiering badge. <laughs> so that's perfect, actually. And she's now also a uh, playable sim. So that makes things a bit more exciting as well. Okay, looks like um, Jihoon is here to have some uh, lunch. Oh, we have Marie going back behind the house here. Oh, I think she's window shopping. <laughs> Actually. We have a uh, Suzanne here. Good. So Randy has made the risotto. And I think I can ask Sandy to um, sell items temporarily. And then Randy can make something else. So maybe something new actually. So something besides these things. I was thinking about making fish dishes, but I haven't actually uh, gotten him any fish in his inventory. I don't think. No. So he can't do that unless he buys them from Monique's computer. Can he do that? Shop online. Oh, he can buy fish. I don't know what the... Uh, Differences between jumbo and just the normal one when it comes to recipes. I think that the trout is the nicer fish, maybe? They are fairly expensive, but uh, if he starts by buying five, he did get some money back from selling those trees and whatnot. <laughs> oh, now she's underpaid. Ah, Need to fix that. Okay, so he bought the fish and... He needs to go and um, change her wage before she quits. <laughs> yeah, fairly paid. Good, and then you can um, be cashier. Good. Um, so, why don't you make money... Yeah, stuffed rainbow trout. Perfect. So you should be able to make five of those. Just let's keep an eye on this. I think that these girls are almost done, but uh, she can restock in the meantime. Let's see how that dish looks. Oh, wow, that looks delicious, actually. <laughs> yeah, that seems like exactly like something that Randy would like to sell here. So I think that I'm gonna make all three um, fish dishes and have him sell those. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to take care of that later then. But um, yeah, let's instead assign her to sell items. Oh, great, Randy got a cooking skill. He has seven now, awesome. Nice, now he has two of those in his inventory, so I think I can put them down. Yeah, and they're average. Okay, so let's put them to average. That should be a profit, I hope. Actually, I need to check what the individual fish costs. Okay, so five is 435. 435, that's 87 per fish. So if he sells those for, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, he's making a profit. <laughs> nice, I don't have to worry. 
of course, the most profit would be to catch the fish himself, but uh, <laughs> yeah, he's not interested in that. Yeah, and Sandy has to be cashier again. Wow, these platters are really heavy duty. <laughs> I'm gonna have him stop that and um, yeah, let's uh, serve some platters instead then. No, oh no, oh. <laughs> uh, of course. I forgot about that part. Um, you know what? That's your lunch, Randy. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in your inventory so you can have that for lunch. Yeah, let's sell this anyway. If he can. It didn't stack with the others now. Maybe he can't sell it now. And I can't delete it. Do I have move objects on? Yeah, I do, but I still can't. Okay, well, that was a failure. Let's just clean that up. He lost some money on that. <laughs> I guess, let's say he dropped it on the floor or something. Let's try this again. So, serve platter. Cancel the interaction. And then I can put it in with inventory. Oh, okay, it still didn't stack, so maybe I, it was unnecessary to throw the other one away, but yeah. Now I did it anyway. And let's do the other ones as well. How are things going out here? Yeah, okay, you're still tending to a customer. Oh, you just need one more. Good, so now we have four of each and he can uh, restock some stuff here. So I'm just gonna click him and go restock. And Sandy, you can do some more selling. Oh, <laughs> he thinks she's attractive. Yeah, okay. Hmm, cooking level eight. You know what? I think I'm going to lock that one in instead. They can still become best friends, but yeah. I feel like he should have that one. And I have that mod also that makes uh, her, well, all employees only do the basic sell. <laughs> So that they don't uh, piss any customers off. <laughs> Does Randy have any restocking badge? Yeah, a bronze one. How are you doing? You're still fairly paid. Actually, I can have her restock instead then. And uh, yeah, Randy can... Um, yeah, maybe new, do another new dish. I could continue with the fish strategy. So if I go back to shop online, buy fish. And let's go with um, catfish this time. Buy five. Good. And then it's going to be... Let's just see how long. He's working until 3 p.m. All right. So let's see. Make many... Uh, black and catfish, yes. Okay, Sandy is here. <laughs> Sandy Bruti, that is. So Sandy Fairchild has to go back to selling here to Nathan. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I've seen this one recently before as well. So it's not um, as amazing looking, but it's still really tasty looking. So <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Okay, Sandy, you can go back to restocking. Oh, nice. Business rank two. So the last time I took money, I think because... This is Randy, after all. 
everyone's friend. <laughs> I think he would like notable reputation. So I'm going to go with that one for him. He said he bought some soups here. Sandy, you have a customer. Hmm, interesting. If Dorian buys something here, then he can bring it to work and uh, serve it to the other police officers. So you just go ahead and sell items, Sandy. And uh, I think he has two fish dishes now. Oh, he has three even, so... Yeah, I'm gonna put it here below the other ones. Yeah, so it's not as expensive, but still fairly expensive, and actually. <laughs> Hi there, Brandon. This uh, controller really makes it so easy to <laughs> take care of an employee. Um, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on um, her um, fairly paid meter here. Yeah, but without this, she would just be assigned to one thing and Randy would have to go up to her and ask her to do something else. It just wouldn't be possible in the same way, so it makes it so much easier. Right, so he has done all of that and I think he actually needs to do some more soup. So make many group meals. And it was... Yeah, the red pepper soup with mushrooms, yes. Sandy, keep restocking. Yeah, okay, yes. So the high needs to do those as well. Oh, now she's underpaid. So actually you have to interrupt that and hurry over to change her wage again. There we go. And then you can uh, sell items instead. And continue with the soup. Oh, nice. So they've bought some of the fish here. Awesome. Good. And Sandy, you have a queue. Randy's gonna have to use the bathroom, apparently. And then I think I'm gonna have him close the shop. Maybe he can make one last sell or something here. Okay, good. So it looks like he's almost done. Is he gonna do it? Maybe he needs to do another basic sell. Oh, he did it, good. So then I can close the business. Sandy just has to stay the cashier until everything is... Um, Paid for here. And then she can head home as well. Sorry, Matthew. You're only just too late. <laughs> Good. Then he's gonna send the employees home. They didn't have any time to chat, really. But I suppose they'll have to do that later. So we can restock one soup as well as the fish. But I think I'm gonna leave the other two until next time. He can start by cooking that. Nice. All right then. So yeah, I'm gonna just have him drive back home and then go to work for real. And uh, speaking of that, his needs have gone down quite a bit working. Uh, I'm gonna bump up the energy again. Maybe ugh, the energy, sorry, the hygiene is interesting. Eh, let's just not mind it. Drive home. <laughs> it should be okay. Randy is coming back, but uh, yeah, I'm going to send him immediately to work again. <laughs> Just going to wait for the car to be ready. Good, drive to work. Nice, so he's going and Tosha is here alone. So was well, something that I want to do pretty much straight off the bat before 11 is actually sell the kitten. And I did decide that the Day family was going to buy it. But I don't think that they know each other that well. 
They do know each other though. Actually, I think I'm just gonna use the Steam Blender then to summon um, Edith in. Yeah, there she is. And then um, I can just say that she came over <laughs> because she was invited. All right, so I guess they're gonna start with just the niceties. And um, yeah, Tosha is gonna have to um, sort of ask a few questions just to be sure that it's gonna be a good home for the kitten. She already knows of this family, of course, they're knowledgeable in the town <laughs> and they're one of the families that like she's seen around church and stuff. So yeah, she's um, fairly confident that it's gonna be going well. So I don't she's think she's gonna ask too many questions. Oh, apparently this is very sick. <laughs> and yeah, Tosha also fell ill. Good, so we do have the gardener here. We have Callista Desperate here, so that's good. Um, but yeah, looks like yeah, little Mickey needs the diaper change. So let's see if I can um, yeah go to sales, pet. Yes. And it was Jun who I wanted to sell. And Mai is being kept. Yes. So let's do that. Yes, I want to sell Jun. Are you okay, Edith? <laughs> nice. So she's gonna take a look at the kitten to start. Oh, Jun is in the pet bed. Okay. Oh, so that was actually pretty good money for that. Nice. Okay then, so yeah, there's gonna say goodbye because I don't want Edith to um, stay here for longer if she's sick as well. Oh, she needs to move apparently. Oh, maybe they're gonna like greet each other or something since uh, she bought a cat. Or maybe not. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's just say goodbye then. I think that June is probably gonna just magically disappear when she's off the lot as well. Oh, you're leaving that way. Okay. You do you. <laughs> Great. So, little Mickey. Mom is coming. Oh, now I realize that I didn't check the total profit for Randy's business. <laughs> because I needed to send 40% to Malcolm. Yeah, I think that I need to write that down in my spreadsheet here. I can probably write it in tasks. Yeah, just Randy needs to pay Malcolm 40% for Thursday's profit. So at least I have it written down somewhere. <laughs> so hopefully I remember next time that I play his business to do it for two days. Okay, so yeah, let's just nurse her again. And is uh, the other kitten, little Jun, is he gone now? Yes, I think so. Nice. I do think that there's like a function in the game that makes the sold pet dislike the owner that sold them. <laughs> so it's very possible that um, the relationship that... Um, Tosha and the Jun had dropped after this. Don't know. I mean, it shouldn't be from her end, but uh, maybe it's in the negative from his end. So <laughs> I'll have to see when I play the day family. Oh, okay, they have bills, but they have money now, so they can actually pay that. I can have Tosha sit down to do some uh, management of the funds. Um... And then question is what she's gonna do with the rest of the day. I mean, nature is her hobby. But I don't think that she should be outside when she has the baby. And also the gardener is here to take care of, of stuff. So I think that I'm gonna have to do something else for her. Um, but yeah, I uh, think I do want to buy... This, the dangle master for the baby, just so that um, she doesn't have to be upstairs while her mother is downstairs. I feel like she should be 
around, <laughs> at least somewhere. So turning quarter tile placement on and yeah, maybe like that. Then uh, yeah, put Mickey in the Dangle Master instead. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> All right. Well, let's have you go to the computer then, Tosha, and let's start with the bills. And how was it then? So it was 100 for the uh, pregnancy checkup. And that is, let's see here. Transmit money to household funds, playable 100 simoleons. And also 500 simoleons for the soccer club. Right, I was splitting it up, wasn't I? Was it 300 for Kennedy or for Ivy though? I think it might have been 300 for Ivy. Did I write that down somewhere? Can I look at my soccer tab? No, I haven't written that down. But let's go with that because yeah. Ivy is doing the heavy lifting, so I think that makes sense. Or maybe did I write it down with the clubs? No, I've just written 500 per, per child. Oh well. <laughs> no matter. Um, so bank online. Transmit money to household funds. Playable 200 and then another one for 300. Right, so 100 is going to Jennifer. Oh, doesn't she know her? I thought everyone knew Jennifer. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I missed her. Uh, I'm going to go by name instead. Oh, I did miss her. There she is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's because she's an elder now. I didn't recognize her portrait, of course. Good. So I can mark that green in my spreadsheet. She doesn't owe that money anymore. Good. And then it's going to be the club. So 200 was first. So that's going to Kennedy. Maybe it's actually quicker to just do the list. Yeah, there he is. And lastly to Ivy. Good. And then Aiden's name is going to be green as well. Perfect. So Tosha is taking care of business. Awesome. <laughs> nice. Um, they have some uh, old newspapers here that she can recycle. Just checking in on the baby. So far, it looks like the cats are looking after her. Ooh, and we have uh, Mai has actually aged into an adult cat now. Ooh, <laughs> oh, she's cute. <laughs> okay, so it's actually a um, combination of uh, like the sleek uh, fur texture or color uh, and then a fluffy cat. <laughs> and this sort of tail, but then the face is very much... Um, uh, saffron's face with the flat nose and everything. Okay, it's going to be interesting to see how uh, her brother turned out. So I wonder if I can change the coat texture. Probably not, but I can uh, just take out the... Um, um, well, what is it called? The menu. <laughs> and then see what I can actually affect. Wow, <laughs> the cat is really in the way, huh? So let's see. I actually think that I probably should move this toy somewhere else because uh, it keeps waking the other cats up. Uh, so maybe I want it to be like a pair or something. And that can give them a reason to also go upstairs. I could put in a second cat tree there. 
And maybe, do I want to have a litter box up here? I don't think it's gonna fit very well into the bathrooms, but I guess maybe this can be like the cat corner. <laughs> so, yeah. Because I do have one out here now, and I think that, oh no, <laughs> not a tree. <laughs> I think I can remove that one and instead put in one with a um, roof. Apparently, this one is super dirty, so. Tosha should clean that. She can do it now that she's not pregnant. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh. Uh, no, come here and try to change my appearance. Let's see what options I have. Because I know that I can change like the fur patterns and stuff, but I don't know about the, um, the texture. No, she doesn't want to. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We have coat colors and markings. Oh, I can, it looks like. So right now she has a smooth coat, but I can change it to this or this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the flowing coat because then it looks like she has more fluffy fur, unless I want to use the furry coat. Mm, it's a very tiny picture. Oh, I can zoom in. I think that this makes most, the most sense for a uh, fluffy cat like this. So, yeah. Let's go with that. And they don't have colors, so just gonna go without. Hopefully she doesn't run away. <laughs> okay, good. So, let's have you clean that up. Actually, it can also be moved a bit closer to the wall. And then she also has to fill up the pet bowls again. Oh no, kitty. Bad cat. <laughs> Don't destroy the umbrella. <laughs> oh, I think maybe she needs to take out the trash as well. Right, they only have this little bin in the corner. Maybe they can actually afford getting a built-in one right now. That's better, I think. Um, maybe I should do this one to match with the one dishwasher. Yeah, let's go with that. Scold for destroying the furniture. It's pretty important that I train the cat at once. Not to destroy the furniture. Okay, good. And then just give some love after that. Looks like uh, little Bailey wants some attention as well, so. <laughs> oh, okay, dokie. But the pet bowls. <laughs> Let's take care of those. And then maybe hang out a bit with Saffron. Because they, um, they are still friends technically, but they um, have to lower a relationship. So <laughs> let's try to improve that. Just trying to keep an eye as well on Mickey, because sometimes the babies can start to cry in this if they're left too long. Oh yeah, just because I said so, now she started to cry, of course. So I think that she needs to pick her up and cuddle her for a bit. I think she can also nurse her. It was a while since she did so last. Try to keep an eye on this little one. <laughs> if she gets up to any mischief. She's gonna survey. It's actually a pretty interesting coat stuff going on here because uh, her face is brown. And I suppose that's from, uh, yeah, actually Saffron's face is also brown. So that's where that's coming from. But then part of her legs and stuff here are this sort of gray color. So lots of colors on this cat. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I also already know <laughs> what the cat I'm gonna use next time for the breeding. Because both of these are too old now, so they're just gonna live out their lives as elders soon. 
So Saffron has two days left and Bailey has uh, four days. But my, when she's a little older, uh, I am going to pair up with um, the cat that uh, Dustin and uh, Meadow has. Don't know if um, Tosha knows that cat. No, she doesn't. Okay. Maybe Randy does. No. Okay. All right then. But anyway, that cat. <laughs> it's a very pretty cat. And I think that they could combine into interesting looking kittens. Yeah, no, she didn't need much nursing at all. Are you going to cough now? Yeah. Maybe you should eat some um, grandma, grandma's comfort soup tonight. Or maybe for lunch, actually. Tosha could do lunch. So let's just uh, carry Mickey back up to her cot. I think she needs to sleep. And Tosha can use the bathroom. And I have a vague memory of maybe that they have it as leftovers. So I'm going to check that. I was going for the gardener. <laughs> Making progress anyway, so that's good. Still has a lot to do though. <laughs> yeah. I don't think she's going to finish today. But maybe uh, Tosha can finish up after her since she enjoys nature. Oh, okay. <laughs> maybe I used to have it, but now I have a lot of empty plates for some reason. Oh, well. Just going to have her take those out. Looks like the gardener is trying to throw away the leaves inside at this point. Um, don't think I like that. I wonder... Uh, oh, something's happened over here as well, apparently. I think maybe I want them to have a compost bin. Because if Tosha is going to garden eventually, like in spring maybe, then it would be nice if they already have some compost. Maybe like back here would be logical. It needs to be on a flat tile. Um, yeah, maybe like that then. That works. So can you have lunch grandma's comfort soup? Yeah, you can. Good. Oh, but actually the baby. <laughs> so let's change her diaper first. No rest for the wicked. And then she can get back to... Actually, she probably needs to clean this mess up. Uh... Oh, Randy's back. Nice. No, and I'm going to take cancel so that they don't build any relationship. So actually, Randy... <laughs> uh, it's going to get hugged by uh, Aiden, who's also back. Their energy has dropped a lot. So I'm going to bump that up a bit. He actually is fine, so I'm going to bring it down instead. I'm going to bump hers up as well. Oh, she's coughing again. So many stuff going on. I think she's going to resume cooking then. I can cancel those things out. And Randy can actually take care of Mickey instead. And I'm going to have to um, summon in Tomboe as well. Yeah, there we go. And move in. And then he's going to have to hurry also to finish teaching him to talk. <laughs> oh god, can you please just do it? Yeah, I know you need a shower, but you need to prioritize as a father, you know. Oh, okay, she just dropped it off on the, on the pavement here. Um, so I'm just going to see if I can stack those. No, not a bed. Yep, good. And then she can put them on the table. Okay, and she needs fun. Um, she had sports, right? Yes, she has sports. But they don't have any like soccer goal or anything. I think that that is possibly too expensive. Just let me have a look at that. Technically, they could afford it, though. Maybe it's worth it, then. How big is it? <laughs> mm. 
don't want it in the tree. The ground is a bit uneven here, so I don't think that I can put it there. Mm, but maybe here. I think that should work. I'm just gonna sneakily move the leaf pile to the other side. Yeah. Let's try it. I think it should work. So just play soccer. Good, he's on his way. And she is uh, cooking. Oh, it didn't work. Try again. Oh, it's this curse that she's... <laughs> I need to bump the fun up a bit so she actually stays playing. And I'm going to bump up the energy so she can play for a while. Because the energy is skyrocketing down <laughs> when they play soccer for some reason. I think it should work now. Yeah, looks like it. Good. Right, he's playing up there. Looks like he took care of the baby. Um, let's put her back and let's um, take a quick shower and then finish teaching him to talk. You'll hopefully get cured. Perfect. So she's healthy again. Awesome. Um, yeah, because now that Randy is home, I'm just going to have her finish this, take a shower, and then I'm going to send her out instead. Because um, she has been invited out to grab a coffee with her friend uh, Angela Pleasant. So they have been very close since high school. But they have drifted apart a little bit recently. They're not best friends anymore. So yeah, they should... Meet up and rekindle that friendship. And yeah, Angela has uh, need of some emotional support right now. <laughs> because of stuff going on in her life. So yeah, that's why she called out Tosha to talk. Poor Kalista is still here. <laughs> At least she's going to get paid. So that's good. I'm going to bump up the energy for her again. Yeah, he only has half the bar left, so that's fine. They should make it in this short time. Awesome. All right then. So let's have her grab her very beautiful car <laughs> and go somewhere. And yeah, it's going to be the, the cafe at the 330 Main Street. So here we have Tosha pulling in to the well, clothing store and coffee shop. And of course she's going to meet up with uh, Angela here. And since I decided that they should have decided before this that they wanted to meet up, I'm gonna, just going to summon in Angela because yeah, she's supposed to be here <laughs> meeting Tosha up. Greet. And then let's um, ask from Casual Group uh, just for fun. Good, so now I think they are in a group. Yes, perfect. Uh, it's because I have that mod that makes it instant. So why don't you just start with just chatting briefly, catching up. Talking about the family party apparently. And becoming your best friends again, so that's awesome. Yeah, so Tosha was at the family party very recently. It was uh, Brandy and Brandon who hosted that. Yeah, this one. So these two used to be very close friends, as I said, as um, teenagers. Um, they were sort of the it girls <laughs> at the high school. Um, but of course, there were some... Um, Strenuous things going on between them because, uh, of course, Angela fell in love with Randy, but Randy only had eyes for Tosha. So um, I don't think that Angela confided in Tosha that uh, she had feelings for Randy. Because at that point, I'm pretty sure that they were already an item. But um, 
yeah, it's it's been lingering in their relationship ever since then. And of course, now Angela is dating Randy's little brother. So I think that she possibly has finally moved on. But uh, yeah, it was uh, definitely something. So maybe you can buy a coffee for Angela. Mm. Okay. Or maybe you can't buy a coffee for Angela. <laughs> Let me try that again. Oh, now it worked. I think she was just standing in an awkward place then. I actually think I'm going to go into this lot and flip these chairs over to sit on the tables so that they don't walk outside in the middle of winter to eat, <laughs> actually. I'm just going to have to sit in these chairs to eat instead. Oh, she took it, but I thought she ordered it for Angela. <laughs> <laughs> that's rude where did Angela go speaking of that she's in here looking at clothes I guess I'll just make her selectable then because then she can just buy her own coffee I guess maybe something went wrong with the routing because these two were <laughs> hanging out here as well okay so they're catching up about uni apparently they live together actually at university in the same apartment so they have a lot of fond memories from that time, I think. Just keep sitting here. So I think that Angela is um, very quickly coming on to the subject that she wanted to actually meet Tosha for. And uh, of course, that is sort of venting about the frustrations she has right now um, from the situation that her mother put her in, really, with her work life and uh, the fact that Jennifer didn't react the way that she had been thinking she would. Um, she is now forced, more or less, to take up a job somewhere other than Pleasant View, even though she would have wanted to stay here. So she's going to be forced to go to downtown every day, travel that long distance and uh, work long shifts and then travel back again. And she, I mean, she's going to be exhausted <laughs> and she's going to have... Um, I think about the same work hours, but that depends on how things go there and what the needs they have, I suppose. So you're going to have to meet a lot of new people and she, yeah, she's just really upset about the whole situation, I think. And, well, feeling disappointed in, uh, mostly in Jennifer, I think, because Jennifer has become a bit of her mentor someone she looked up to and was counting on and who she believed wanted her around but now it doesn't seem like it's now it seems like she's being pushed away she's not getting help getting up in the levels and trying new things so she's for forced to do this mostly by her mother to get things moving but then Jennifer ends up pushing her away instead of pulling her closer so yeah, I think that Angela is feeling very hurt <laughs> about this and also upset because she put herself in this situation, really. So, and I think that um, she picked out Tosha in particular to talk to about this because she wanted a friendly ear who would listen but not judge her. <laughs> I think that Tosha is, uh, you know, that friend that's just sort of listening and nodding and agreeing with everything you say so that you can vent, but doesn't come with, um, you know, you should have done this or um, like something that can feel argumentative <laughs> while you're trying to vent. I think that Tosha is just a good ear to have around in situations like that, specifically for someone like Angela with her personality. So I think that's why she picked her and not anyone else <laughs> in her life. So, and I think that Tosha um, gives her a little bit of, you know, advice about, because she is faithful. Um, I'm pretty sure that Angela is faithful as well. Let me double check. Yes, both of them are actually faithful. Both of them believe in the Watcher. So I think that Tosha is giving her some advice on, you know, this is probably the Watcher's plan for you. This is probably something that was meant to be in the end. It's going to have something good coming from it. 
um, just stay hopeful, stay faithful and um, believe in the Watcher and uh, some good things will probably come your way. And uh, actually, I think that's a bit of a comfort to Angela because she is um, someone who seeks acknowledgement <laughs> and the thought of someone actually watching her back um, can be a comfort, I think. But yeah, they've had their coffee, they've had their chat and they are back up to best friends. So I think I'm going to um, make her unselectable again and... Um, Leave the casual group and then just um, hug her goodbye. It was nice catching up for them, I think, but uh, now Tosha needs to get back to her family. And Tosha is returning home. I'm going to check up on Randy and Tomoe because, yeah, it's almost time for him to grow up. But it looks like they're almost there. Oh, he's saying daddy. <laughs> so adorable. And how about Erin? She has stopped playing soccer, looks like. She's fairly tired again, but uh, it's fine. She needs to shower, though, so I'm going to have her do that. I think I'm just going to bump it up a little bit anyway. Nice, he did it. So now Tomo has learned how to talk and he has, um, yeah, gotten all of the toddler skills here. Actually, Brandon told him to walk and Marilina potty trained him. All right. <laughs> and then he learned to talk from his father. So I guess it's a mix in this case. As for Erin, it was, yeah, her parents who taught her. All right. Okay then, uh, hmm. I think I'm just going to leave him alone for now and hmm, trying to figure out how best to do this. Maybe Randy can use this bathroom. Aiden is having a shower and the Tosha is just hanging out here. Looks like Mai is behaving well. I think you can actually praise her for being in the bed. This needs to be filled again. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. So now, oh, oh no. <laughs> I said good, but this is not good at all. Can't she access this? Oh no. <laughs> okay, well, that's actually bad then. I thought it was flat ground, but no. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's do that. And Tosha, please hurry up and get out and fix this. This actually needs to be fixed first because this is the oldest. They're going to get cockroaches. Ah, it's a bit late. You have to leave. Yeah. Leave, please. You have made a mess of the yard. <laughs> and Tom has aged up. Wants to learn how to do his homework, so I'm locking that in. Take a little look at this guy. So he has this, still the same hairstyle, but it is darker. Same thing happened for Erin, but uh, in her case I decided to keep it like that. I don't think I want to do the same for Thomas, so I'm going to start by changing his appearance. Yeah, I think I might give him this instead, but for some reason his uh, eyebrows disappeared. <laughs> so I'm gonna add those back. Yeah, I think I'm going with those. And I'm wondering what uh, eye shadow I gave him. Oh, I gave him that one. No, I think I want this one. It's less yellow. Yeah, perfect. And something else as well that I have uh, decided to start doing for Pleasant to You as well, to mix things up a bit with the personalities, is to randomize his hobby. So there are 10 hobbies in total, so I have a d10 here that I can roll to get the number. So we got number 6. 
I already know what that is and it's gonna fit him very well. <laughs> Come my hobbies and one, two, three, four, five, six, cuisine. So yeah. <laughs> Perfect uh, when you take it to take into account who his father is. So yeah, I am going to add that in. Let's see, where is Tomwe? There he is. So he is now a child. He, okay, he used to have him in literature, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go with cuisine. I was just uh, sort of <laughs> hesitating because I have so few sims with film and literature. But yeah, let's go with cuisine. I got that now. And then I'm gonna have to go to education and move him from here to here. Um, right, but I have to also remember that um, Tomoe should not attend mentary school Thursday because he aged up in the evening of Thursday. So in the morning when I play next time, he's not going to technically be a child yet. So yeah, I have to remember that. And then I'm also considering what club to put him in. I think soccer goes out. So it's either going to be scouts or ballet. So I think that cooking is pretty practical and he does have a mother who has the nature hobby. So I think that they would actually put him in the scouts club. And he's going to be yellow because I haven't paid. And yeah, so that means that I should give him the scouts outfit. Also, I can go to my dashboard and right click, refresh data. You move from the toddler to child. And also I got another sim in the cuisine hobby. Actually, I have quite, actually I need to remove myself so you can see it. I have pretty few sims in the cuisine hobby as well. Just four of them in film and literature though. So <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's fine. Perfect. So I'm going to remove this one again. This one I can delete and then I can give him some new clothes. I think he's going to have one of these. I think that would suit him fairly well. Just need to pick which one. Yeah, that one is pretty cute. Let's go with those. Looks like he has that one, so he can keep that. Right, and the scout's outfit. And it's gonna be winter weather, so he needs something warm to wear out. Yeah, I think I'm going with that. Awesome. Then he can change into his everyday again. And I'm gonna need to think about this. Because it's not gonna be very long until uh, Mickey has aged up as well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put all of this into Tosha's inventory. So I can keep it for her. I guess the toy box can stay and the teddy bear as well. But he's gonna need a bed and that is actually an issue. What does this cost? Yeah, I think I'm gonna need that money actually. What about this? No, that doesn't cost anything. Um, <laughs> the money ran out so quickly. Uh, I don't think that's gonna make any difference. So <laughs> let's do this. Maybe I can do the same bed. Just another spread. Yeah, let's go with the clouds. What bedside table does she have? She has that one. I don't think so. Yeah, that works, I think. I can probably take a lamp or something under the bedside table, so... Yeah. Oh, and also he needs to have a desk. Probably take the same as his sister has. Yeah, I think that works. 
what would make it even better is if um, they had some curtains. <laughs> but I don't feel like I can spend money on that right now. Because the whole house is sort of lacking curtains. Okay, apparently Randy's up here, chilling in the bed. <laughs> All right. Um, so the sink is broken, so you have to actually repair that. And Tosha, you have to <laughs> keep working on this so you don't get any roaches. Good. So, it has become the evening and um, I actually wanted to uh, end the day for them by inviting over the grandparents for dinner. So, I think... Yeah, we're gonna have to do it in sections. So just start by calling first Komme, who's at the um, uh, elder home, and then also Jan, and then Randy is gonna have to call his parents. I think unless uh, Tosha is actually friendly with them, uh, maybe she can invite Brandy, and she says yes. So let's try. How friendly is she with Brandy? Yeah, okay, they're best friends friends forever. So that should work. Okay, Koma is coming over. Jan is on her way as well. We have some strong wants here for Tosha. I don't, I'm not really interested in the novel thing. And I was saying that I would hold off on the babies. So I don't think I'm going to lock that in. But... Being best friends forever with Angela is good, and possibly helping Tomway with his homework could work as well. Invite household and Brandon. Great, they're both coming over. Awesome. Then you can use the bathroom for now. I think that they should be... Yeah, Komi is already here. Uh, okay, something happened with Erin. But she can actually greet her grandfather. And also Jan. Maybe actually she should be able to greet everyone. Because now also Brandon and Brandy are here. Right. Um, so I think the first thing that I want to do is actually make Jan selectable. And she's going to head into the kitchen pretty quickly. And I'm going to have her call Brandon over. Oh, apparently Lauren uh, came with as well. Well, greet her as well. Then I guess I didn't invite you, but all right. <laughs> sure, you can be here. Didn't she call him over? again then oh, okay good because um, as I showed you in the last episode these two have been um, seeing each other behind everyone's backs and they were like this close <laughs> in getting found out and um, yeah people are very suspicious already and um, you know Jan has had a little think about this and has realized that it was something she did in desperation and feelings of loneliness because Kome is not able to live at home anymore. And this is not good for their family, really, to have this going on between them. So she is going to ask to just be friends. And um, yeah. Brandon is agreeing without any issues. They're not um, in love anymore or anything like that. <laughs> so that's good. And yeah, I think that he similarly also got sort of a cold shower when uh, he was almost found out. And he sort of realized how much he could lose by keeping this up. So yeah, I think he is going to agree with no issues. <laughs> Okay, so Randy has actually fixed the sink. Nice. Problem is, though, that they're not really hungry. Tosha is a bit hungry, but... Okay, he is also hungry. So... 
I do need to do this though. I need to pick up the high chair. And have I put down the real chair somewhere else? I think I probably have sold it actually to get some more money. Uh, so I'm just going to buy another chair. And yeah, so then there's some places at the dinner table. But still, it is quite a few dinner guests anyway. So I think I'm going to put in the variable meal server. And then set... Oh, she's actually feeding Mickey, so I'm going to have to do that with Randy. Set number of servings. Let's go with 10. And then he can serve dinner. Hmm. Let's go with salmon, I guess. I'm just terrified that these two will do something. Oh, no. <laughs> Never mind, it wasn't them I had to be worried about. Apparently it's um, Lauren I should have worried about. <laughs> you know what, actually she came over and sort of invited herself in. I didn't plan for her to be here, so I'm actually going to have Randy ask her to leave. <laughs> thanks for stopping by, but uh, even more thanks for leaving. <laughs> And then serve salmon. If you can't behave, you can't stay. So have you met all of your grandparents? Yes, you have actually. But maybe you want to hang out a bit with maybe Jan and Tomme. You have not met Komme and Jan. So you can... Um... Oh, he's gone to sleep. Can you get up a bed, please? Do you have all your need things? No, you don't. So that's why. Do you do right? Yes. Come here, please. And um, chat to Komi. Oh, apparently they didn't <laughs> agree about something. So I'm going to try that again. Okay, yeah, so she's done. She can put... Mickey back in the crib and come eat dinner. He should also eat dinner. She is very tired. But actually, oh, yeah, he um, needs to get his comfort up. So why don't you um, lounge in the sofa? That's the best way to get comfort. And yeah, can call the guests to meal. And she, I mean, she does need to do her homework. She can um, take care of this. Oh, but I thought I told you to eat. Oh, there's not. Okay, but take a plate here then. So at least these guys can sit down to eat. And uh, Randy can eventually help Aileen with her homework when he's feeling a bit better. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to time it now, <laughs> so help her with homework. We know you're super tired. He's actually pretty close to being um, friends and best friends and everything with his uh, grandfather, so I guess he's going to chat with Brandon for a bit. Did you make it? No, you <laughs> didn't make it, of course. Ah, I'm going to try it again. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if she can actually do it or if she's too tired. Oh. Thank you, Jan. I actually asked Tosha to take care of that, but okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Typical of parents coming in and doing some cleaning <laughs> in their children's home. Oh, okay, okay. Um, okay, so Mickey needs a diaper change. Okay, and now she gave up. The thing is that I could 
send her to just sleep for a little bit and ask him to do the same and then I can wake them up again, I suppose. Not that realistic, but <laughs> I guess I'm gonna do that. Great, and they are friends now. Awesome. But yeah, he's super tired as well, so I think that... Can he ask them to leave? No, he cannot. You are just a child. You may not ask your grandparents to leave. <laughs> So why don't you just use the body and then go to bed. And I think maybe Randy woke up from the baby's cries. No, he didn't actually. Good. And now she can actually ask them to leave. Unless she wants to catch up with anyone. I mean, she could catch up a little bit with Brandy, I suppose, now that she's here. No, Brandy, where are you going? Are you going to have a chat on the landing? Uh, I'm going to do this. And of course, they're not getting along. Let's try it again. <laughs> the cat scratched Kobe. <laughs> yeah, one would think that this would be very wholesome and stuff, but um, it's not running completely smoothly. At least uh, Brandon and Jan haven't been doing anything, so that's good. Yeah, she's um, she dislikes him now <laughs> because of what she saw. Well, she didn't see him much, but yeah, it was enough apparently. Oh, good, they're talking about science. That's perfect. That's how to win Brandy's heart. Yeah, but I think it's good enough to say goodbye to everyone now. And I think she can actually have a bath before she goes to bed. And you're feeling better, so I should be able to wake both of these guys up now and finish up with the homework. So they did get a bit closer anyway, so it's not much left, but she does have two pieces of homework to do. Awesome. Nice. So she should be able to finish that up by herself. And uh, I can send Randy back to bed. Awesome. So she finished up the homework. And she can finally go to bed. <laughs> like the rest of her family. All right then. So that was the Lillard family. And um, that was the end of uh, Thursday for these guys. So yeah, I think that um, when it comes in general to this family, things are moving uh, fairly smoothly anyway. Um, they don't have much money, but it feels like they're staying afloat in some ways <laughs> anyway. And uh, yeah, Tosha is furthering her lifelong dream to raise puppies and kittens. So that's nice. And Randy is also furthering his uh, dreams to... Um, earn all that money, I guess, but uh, to run his business successfully. So, yeah. Smooth sailing, I think. And, uh, yeah. Erin um, is gonna attend this soccer club for... Oh, I think it might be the second time. Maybe she has already done it once. But, uh, yeah, I feel like um, she's gonna continue on with, with soccer and... Uh, be very interested in that, much like her uh, grandfather, Komei, was, actually. And uh, yeah, she has some uncles as well who's really into that. So yeah, she's going to take off to them, I suppose. <laughs> and we're going to have to see how Tomway turns out as well. I saw that he was uh, fairly lazy, I think. Yeah, very lazy even. But he's very nice and playful on the other hand. So yeah, they are opposites in that way because... <laughs> Erin is very grouchy and he is very nice. So yeah, very different personalities, but I think that's very fun as well to have that with the, the children. So this was it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching it as always, and I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye!